Let's do it. Retro Hunter. He's open. He's open. He says close on a Monday, but he's definitely open. Yeah? Ask him if I can film, if that's all right. You're right, yeah. Are you all right? Is you all right to film? Just, all right, cheers, thank you. I thought I'd ask. I didn't want to just come in here and start. That's it, <laughs> definitely. Would I be able to get two discs cleaned as well? Because I know you do the, th so what it is, it ain't nose. It don't, obviously I pay, I don't, do you reckon they'd be all right to clean or? I brought them ages ago. I don't know, I'm fit, I might just take the gamble. That one's very unlikely. Yeah. Well, that one impossible actually. Cause that's Has it got a crack on it? It's see-through. Okay. Where, where they're so bad that they're see-through. Yeah, leave they're, it. They're gone. That's but fine. That one's not. I only paid like 50p from not, it, a boot sale, but I thought I'd. Uh, yes, uh, hmm. Oh, they're see-through as well. Is it? Yeah, look, you see when you hold them up to the light? Yeah. And you can see the scratches through. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when they're right, so deep that they're just not going to work through uh, through painful experience. No, that's fine. I, I thought I'd ask the question. I res on a on Dreamcast, which the disc was absolutely mint, and there was a tiniest, tiniest little dot which was see through, and it made it not work. Yeah, no, I won't take the risk then. Yeah, Might as well leave it. It'd be wasted money by the yeah. if you That would probably. I could get it looking nice. But these are the worst, probably, ones there. Yeah, no, that's fine. Is that, uh, yeah, they wouldn't, even after 10 minutes, they're, they're so deep that they're. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, no. I've got a few of them, it's just the fact I picked these up and I thought, oh, should I, I'll bring it and find out because we're heading down there anyway. Yeah. Let me, well, let me, let me, let me do a test on this one. Yeah. I won't charge for it. Oh, much appreciated. Let's take a look at all this stuff. What one you get inside? What is it? Oh, of course I will. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you've got to stop All right. Anything about being a film, and I've got to go back round and look. Project Zero. Oh, nice. Huh? Yeah. A little super Ted. A little big track. Yeah. Ah, oh, the Mega Drive games. So if you need any pads, you know, there's pads, there's loads of pads. Oh, sorry, there's loads of game where games over here. Oh, it's 
see all the magazines. Didn't you have one of the cases side as well? Yeah. Oh, look. Yeah, yeah. yeah when I come round. The little handhelds. Oh, sorry. Si, did you notice? Yeah, I saw him. With, the, cha with the chain as well. Oh, yeah, they go. I can believe that as well. Yeah, I wonder if there's one bloke on his YouTube recently. He found one for 50p. He ended up sending it to America for 400 pounds. Yeah, just like that, loose, exactly. Just to say, but probably even a bit in worse condition than that as well. It probably took me a good six years to find a nice, complete original one. I've found loads of reissues. Yeah, yeah. And I saw, I saw normally all the third matches and stuff. Yeah, that's it. And the fingernails and the gold and all yeah. quite positive. But luckily I, I the bench was down with the handcuffs. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, the chains as well. Yeah, the chains on there. Yeah. Oh, that's quality. Not even rubbed off or anything like the monster yeah, or anything. Yeah, no, I was really, really lucky with that. Well, I had it at home. Yeah. For ages. And when I was working, I redid the shop after the first lockdown. I was also moving out, I was on downside because I'm crap Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Because I think as well, it's true what you said. I've, I've, I've never had one of them or anything like that. Because my, I'm still playing on my little screen. When I play the N64, it's like all the little squares and do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I need to make it all smooth on the TV. Yeah, right I mean, well, to be honest with you, uh, a lot of the kids what I'm doing is to get it um, RGB modded. Which, uh, my mate, uh, Adam, can do. he does all my mods, but region modding, uh, Game Boy modding, etc. etc. And it's a 200 quid cheaper. Yeah. And we've had them running here. We had the HD, which is the ultra HDMI one. And the TV, I'm missing a few bits, but let's give it a 20. Yeah. Yeah. Going through the hair missing. That's made me laugh. So another day, another video, and it's been a brilliant day yet again. You get to go out, you get to socialize, you get to see people, you get to go to the shops you wanna to go to. The kind of buzz of the hunt and the thrill of the hunt, I'm getting that back again, which I love. So I did go and visit, this was after Nerd Base, I did go and visit another shop that was nearby, about 15 minutes away. So if you're definitely gonna check out Nerd Base, go and check out the Retro Hunter. Uh, just put it into Google, the address comes up straight away, put it in a sat nav and you just be there in 15 minutes. Uh, exactly what I've done. Uh, but I will put up uh, in the corner, I'll put up a little flyer in terms of, you know, website, the address, if you just want to look at it that way, so you've got that. But yeah, I've seen this shot for a little while and I saw it in other YouTubers and I've seen it in some of the gaming community in terms of groups. So went there, thought, oh, I need to pick up some classic games, but I've noticed uh, that the guy that runs the shop as well, he started to pick up vintage items. So, and when I speak to him, he's like, yeah, I'm a retro hunter. So, you know, bits and pieces in the shop, different. He had a My Pet Monster original chain that he told me he picked up from a boot sale. And then he had three glass cabinets of retro toys. And they, to be fair, the, the prices were okay. The prices were good. There were some Boglins there, some more of the rarer Boglins that I saw. There was a lot of Masters of the Universe, some Hasbro. One of the Hasbros was Doink, and he had all these hair shaved off, which I just thought was fascinating to see. Uh, there was a, a Centurion there, which is I think is Ace Cloud, but he was missing most of the bits and pieces. I think he had the pack and he had one missile. But £20, I don't think you can go wrong, to be fair, if you just want it to sit on the shelf. I think it's a good price. And then, again, a lot of uh, G1 Transformers. So, you know, and they were very well priced. So you had Optimus Prime, uh, which was missing the back door, 20 quid, uh, with the fists as well. So the fists were there, the little buggy in the back. You had Roctimus Prime, which was 25 quid. Uh, you see this in the video, guys. But yeah, the, one of the dinosaurs, I can't remember which one it was, but my brother, I picked it up for my brother, is 25 quid. Again, I thought that was a bargain. But the main piece of going here was to game hunt and just see what they had. Uh, and it's a strange one because there's loads of vintage games, but I have a lot of the vintage stuff already. I'm not necessarily after that very, what I'd call vintage stuff anyway. Your Mega Drive, your SNES, your Super Nintendo. I wanted to pick up some GameCube games uh, that I didn't necessarily have, and I wanted to start building that GameCube kind of collection that I've got with games that are actually play though. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna show you what I picked up. So what I picked up from there. So you, and I don't know if you would have seen this because I don't know if I just done the shop tour and then I kind of went round because again, guys, when you're doing these tours, you have your GoPro on and a lot of people that do YouTube channels will understand this. You're looking around and you're concentrating on what you're looking at. You're kind of not looking for yourself. You're more putting contents together for the channel, but a very quick tour. And then you go back round and I'm like, right, I don't really need the camera on. I just want to look for me. And I'm pulling out each individual game. And no one wants to see that. I, I know no one wants to see that. But I'm pulling out each individual game, looking at the manual, looking at the back, looking if it's a game I'll be interested in. And I don't know how short the video will be because obviously this is pre-edited. But uh, I was mostly in there for a couple of hours. Literally just going through each game, going through bits and pieces. Uh, yeah, but the ones I wanted to collect is for my GameCube. So I picked up Zelda, Wind Walker, and it's got the... Uh, the other disc in there as well that's got the N64 version of the of Zelda, sorry, on the N64. So yeah, two disc limited edition, £30. Don't, I don't know if that's the price to be paying for it, but you know, it looks pretty minty to me. Uh, I like the way they put them in the covers as well. So yeah, I picked that up. I've not been lucky enough to find any of these like at a boot sale at a charity shop. So, you know, knowing my luck, I'll find this at a charity shop this week now. Uh, but yeah, so I picked that up because I need it. And then the other one I picked up, and given everything that's going on with it at the moment with Godzilla vs. Kong, brilliant movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Uh, I'd, 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 my only piece would be for me, and I'm not going to spoil anything, I would have loved to have seen the monsters fight a bit more. 
Uh, but that's just me and that's the kid in me that always loved that kind of stuff as I was growing up. But Godzilla Destroy All Monsters. How much was this? £12, £12 on the GameCube. Can't go wrong. Uh, I'll definitely play this as well. It reminds me a little bit of what I've got on the uh, Mega Drive, which is King of the Monsters. King of the Monsters. So I've got King of the Monsters 1. I haven't got number 2. Don't even know if it come out over here, to be fair. My knowledge isn't that great, but I've got it on the uh, coin-op system. So I've got 1 and 2, and I usually play them on there instead of playing it on the Mega Drive. But with the GameCube, I've definitely played these games. So I picked that up as well. So they're going to my collection and try and build that up. Uh, this is the little flyers I put up. The main reason I thought I'm going to pop into this place as well, guys, is that you've got... Uh, so it's a, it's a funny one. So the guy in there has just brought a cl disc cleaner machine. And I thought, right, you know, what? I see a lot of people cleaning the discs and it just brings them back to life. And if you watch my boot sale videos, I pick up a lot of discs, a lot of empty cases and try and put them together as in as in terms when I find a disc, when I find a case, connect, boom, happy days on the shelf or I can put it aside for someone else. Uh, so in one of my videos, you would have seen that I picked up two Super Mario Worlds on the Nintendo Wii. Discs only, discs only. Uh, got one in here as well, but it's with the Microsoft Confidential Disc. Uh, so discs only, but they were battered. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Uh, this one didn't get cleaned because we thought I oh, will leave that one and he wasn't too confident on this one to begin with So what I done was uh, he said yeah, I clean this one and this this disc was dirty like absolutely battered And to be fair, there's a few scratches on this. So we're gonna give it but it's nowhere near as bad as what it was now The puddings the proofs in the pudding as they say or puddings in yeah proofs in the pudding. That's where we're going with this uh, I need to try this and see if it works he done this for me then said look go home i'll do this for you obviously uh no charge or anything and he and just check and see if it works so just when i finish this video i'll do a little like 10 second clip of hopefully this loading up or if it doesn't it comes up error it means it didn't work but he said look it's worth experimenting on just to see if it works because again i've got an empty case for that and i think i've already got like three marios for the wii up here so this would be four five uh so yeah so hopefully that works then the other piece I picked up from there. So I know it's not got a back door. I know it's not got a back door. It's got the little buggy in there, which is strange. Get in here, little buggy. There's another, I don't even know if this bit goes with it. Uh, not too sure, so it, yeah, it does, because it clips in there. So that's just falling out, I will put that back. I picked up Optimus Prime. Uh, and you can see the two fists. Whenever I get these, like, obviously, you know, the, the toy holder in me, I can't go anywhere about buying some toys. So they're my games. That's what I picked up. But the toy holder in me, so Optimus, and it's got the two fists in there. And you can never find the fist. You know, sometimes I think it's missing the gun. I'll pick up the gun. I, I know that I'll find it on eBay. Someone will be selling it. Or it. I wouldn't even mind picking up a 3D printed gun. Uh, but the fists are always missing and it's there. So yeah, this hooks on there. And for 20, I think I paid 20 pound for this. Uh, let's put Optimus on here with the Bucky O'Hares. I'm all day with that, all day. So that's in there. These were some charity shop buyers uh, from the same day, and no doubt I'll put a charity shop. I guess the only thing that's gaming related that I picked up today. So everyone that watched my videos, they know I'm going to be going in any shop. I'm going to be going to boot sales, I'm going to be going to charity shops, I'm going to be going to toy fairs, I'm going to be going to computer marks, everything. I'll just be there. So on the way home, I couldn't help myself. I had to stop in a charity shop. And I'll only do the gaming piece for this because it's here. Uh, but I usually have once a week, I have a pile and I just do a pickup video. But the gaming piece day, on my way home, I thought I'm going to pick, stop off in two charity shops that I know are pretty decent. One of them, completely packed. People buying clothes. You'd think like I we're going into another pandemic and everyone's picking up clothes, ornaments, etc. A guy had just picked up a load of Blu-rays. Uh, and I was like, okay, missed out on some Blu-rays. Uh, but I did get one horror-related Blu-ray. Uh, I won't go into too much on that. But in terms of gaming-wise, there was a game. Uh, £3, All-Star Sonic. Yeah, so Sonic, Sega, All-Stars Racing, Banjo-Kazooie. See that there, £3. However, it's sealed, completely sealed, brand new. Uh, so for £3, I thought I'm going to pick that up. I don't think I can go wrong with it. I don't know what the, what the sell-on price would be, but it's got to be more than £3. So I picked that up as well. But my main piece is I need to check this Mario out. So I will do that. Uh, and then yeah, we will wrap up this video, but yeah, really happy I'll take a picture of that as well retro hunter So everyone can see that as well, but yeah, really happy with my pickups from uh, 
the retro hunt i definitely go check out the shop uh, definitely check out his twitter page facebook because he's always posting on there bits and pieces he's found and I, and I believe if you want to claim something or if you want to contact him he will uh, more than likely send it out to you obviously paying paypal etc so yeah definitely check it out because he does get a lot of decent stuff very much gaming related but definitely retro toys as well it says beneath retro toys uh, so he gets a lot in so yeah please check his page out and his social media but yeah i guess i will leave this video here i'm still over excited there's a lot going on i'm doing a youtube live show tonight as well uh so there's a lot going on thanks for checking out the video keep watching because this week this week boots fairs start back up for me midweek uh, i'm off work i'm going to I'm going to, I just love the thrill of the hunt, the buzz of everything. Uh, so yeah, keep checking out the channel. The content will no doubt be rolling out now as we've come out of lockdown and things hopefully starting going back to normal. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay safe. And now I will just roll to literally, it's going to be make or break, isn't it? A 10 seconds make or break. Will Mario load up or will it just say eject disc? If it does, you know, I haven't lost anything, but I'll more than likely... I have to put these in the bin because uh, I, I wouldn't want to sell them to anyone else or give them to anyone else, you know, like if, or throw them uh, or put them aside and someone tries to sell them and they don't work. So I will try this. Guys, God bless. Take care. Let's roll to this. So, guys, sorry, it is a bit messy. This is me trying to do the Mario. So we've got the Mario here. We're going to try it and see if it works. Uh, it took me a while to do all the scars. And look, people are going to hate this, but look at the wireage is just pure carnage. I need to do better with all these consoles. But let's look at it. Looking bloody good after a clean from the, the Retro Hunter. Yep, let's make sure we put this in the right way. Come on. Look at this. Uh, come on. Come on. Where is, where's the little hand? Come on. Give me a picture. Give me a picture. Oh, I think we got... Oh, yes, it wasn't doing that last time. Oh, get in there. Oh, come on. What do I press on there? Oh, it looks like it works. It was not doing this. Super Mario Brothers. Wee yeah, where's the hand gone? You just want to be at the start. All right. The it's because it's so messy in here. Come on. That's the one. So I believe... Yep, that's fine. We're not going to hit anyone. I believe this is working. Which is fantastic. Oh, I'm not putting all this stuff in here. Come on. Yep, that's fine. Let's go. Just want to... Oh my, we've got it working. So, I haven't got it working. The Retro Hunter has got it working. So, guys, definitely go to the shop. If you need discs cleaned, I believe he charges £3 a disc, usually. Uh, 100%. These discs were battered. So, it's definitely working. You can see there. I'm not going to play it. Some people say you should play it. I don't know, but... It seems okay to me. Yeah, that's fine. Damn. Come on. That'll do. Even better. Oh, two, that's me, anyway. These batteries will die, guys. They're like the cheapy pound shop batteries. Yep, that'll do. Here we go. Let's just get on there. I said it's going to be 10 seconds. It's more like a minute. Yeah, there you go. So that's that's all working. I'm over the moon with that. That's great. That's another one, and I can put that into the empty case. So, yes. That's it from Scott's Comics and Collectibles. Thanks for watching this very short. I say very short. It is about a minute or two with me trying to get the Nintendo Wii to work. But, yes, definitely check out the Retro Hunter. Take care.